What's going on guys, my name is Tom from Dreadlabs and today we're going to go into Grave Graphics. So a while ago I did this cover artwork for um, DJ Soda and Psycho Boys Club for Spinning Records. And I really liked how this one turned out. So I wanted to show you guys the process of me making a Rave Flyer slash Drug Baggy um, cover artwork basically. Alright, so we're up in Illustrator right now and... Um, I usually just go by a 3000 by 3000 canvas and I'm just going to draw out my grid basically with a rectangle tool. Um, so I already tried to leave out some, uh, leave open some space on the edges here. And then um, we're going to just see what, whatever we're going to do. And then um, I mainly just uh, divide some parts, make a main. Um, I try to make a main uh, like square at first for the main graphic. So, for example, like this, and then I'm gonna just f see whatever I can fill in there. Um, so let's just grab a font and yeah, see how to go from here. So I just uh, got a double uh, text in here um, and I just wanted to uh, up the size of my main image here a bit so it just fits so I don't have to put in anything small or insignif insignificant in here basically.
All right, so this took a while. Um, but yeah, um, I got this final design here. It may not be perfect because, uh, well, I've been working on it for 20 minutes or so. Um, because I don't want to make this tutorial and drag it into like an hour or something. Um, so we're just going to use this uh, for now. Uh, I just saved it and we're going to bring it into Photoshop. So um, we're here in Photoshop and we're going to go and put a solid color of a fluorescent uh, kind in here. Um, let's go with green for now because we don't really use green as much in this, in this tutorial series. Okay, so I brought my rave sticker in. And this is what we have so far. We're gonna group this, call it sticker. And I'm gonna open up a uh, file that's available on dreadlabs.net, which is called um, Album Cover Mockups Volume 1. So, um, as you might have guessed, this is a vinyl album cover uh, sleeve uh, mockup without any like plastic textures on it or whatever um, just looks like this um, but for this tutorial I just want to make sure uh, I just want to bring this background in because it has a uh, distressed edge as you can see um, let's just turn off these uh, distress effects for now and as you can see you have this kind of like uh, distorted imperfect uh, edges and I want to bring this in into my Photoshop file uh, so I'm going to duplicate it into our uh, folder or in our new file and I'm going to put it uh, drag it into the back and I'm going to put it into the group here and we're going to clip everything onto there like this so um, now we want to apply some paper texturing um, and I'll put the link to this in the description because uh, uh, I have some paper textures from Texture Fabric and they're really good and I'll put the link up in the description so you can grab one yourself. So this is the texture that we have so far um, and I'm gonna put it in between the um, color and the design here. Uh, we're gonna double click on here and hold alt or option and drag the slider in until we have a nice fluorescent green texture in here like this um, okay so now that we have this um, let's just uh, displace the crap out of this one um, okay remove this uh, design for now uh, go to the top layer press command option shift and E now we have a layer that we want to turn into a displacement map um, and there's already a tutorial on that so I'm going to do this real quick I'm going to duplicate it to a new folder file Sorry, um, turn it into black and white increase the contrast a bit and merge it and put a subtle Gaussian blur on it And save this as displacement map. Delete the initial uh, layer in here. Go to Rave Sticker Design, Filter, Distort, Displace, and bring in the displacement map. And as you can see, we have a little bit of a subtle displacement in here. Um, I'm going to center it nice and easy. And um, I'm going to go and add a box blur to this as well. And I'm going to go double click and drag in this left part of the slider here by holding all or option. And let's see, it's a bit too transparent for my taste, so let's just bring it in a bit more. Yeah, this should be fine. All right, so now that we have our sticker, um, I want to turn this sticker into a smart object and size it, scale it down just a little bit. And now we're gonna bring in this plastic baggie that I scanned in. 
Okay, this baggie is part of the Dreadlabs goodie pack. If you're interested in buying it, it's on dreadlabs.net. Okay, so um, a neat little trick that I found out about a while ago is, um, as you can see, the edges of this aren't exactly aligned to the sticker in here. So because that's because this isn't really a perfect square. Um, so you can do th two things right now. Um, and this is a really cool tool that I uh, haven't used a lot of in Photoshop and I'm planning on using it more. Um, and that is the Perspective Warp tool. Um, and let's just go to Edit, Perspective Warp. And what you can do is you're going to drag a grid over this bag. And now we're going to make sure that the anchor points of the grid are aligned to the uh, edges of this baggie, like this. Okay, so now we're going to go into Warp. And if we want to make this into a perfect square, we just click this one. And now we have a perfect aligned square baggy. Um, and if we put the blend mode to lighten and size down our sticker, this will actually fit in um, our uh, baggy right now. But um, as you can see, our baggy is a little bit of a rectangle. So uh, we're going to remove the perspective warp for now. And we're going to size down our uh, sticker now just a little bit. Uh, size up this little baggie in here. Like this. Uh, so what we want to do right now is we're going to go and do a little bit of a more complicated uh, perspective warp tool uh, setting. And that is we're going to make a grid for the actual baggie. And we're gonna make one for the, um, yeah, like for the top, for the closure part, basically. So, um, if we would want to make this into a square, we could do it like this. And we can also drag in these, both of these, um, uh, like uh, both of these anchor points just to make sure. Um, that the bottom will be like the actual contents of the back will be a bit more of a square uh, square format basically like this perhaps and if we click in there we can make it actually perfect but I actually don't want to make this perfect because um, imperfections make things look better in my opinion um, so now that we have this we're gonna resize the sticker And as you can see, the sticker does fit a bit better into this bag right now. Um, but I actually want to perspective warp this sticker as well. Um, so we're going to go into perspective warp again. And drag out the grid. And now we're going to warp this accordingly so it actually starts looking like this is photographed from a certain perspective, basically. Um, like this. Um, and now we can just group this. And here we have our very own rave graphic. Um, um, so yeah, that's the ending of this tutorial. Uh, I hope you learned something today. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, if you have any suggestions for tutorials, please let me know as well. And uh, if you're interested in joining our Discord for Design Talk, for networking, um, click on the link in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video.